Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody, Royals fans. This is the next edition of the Royal Take. If this is Sports Fan News, I'm Joe Borey. Continue to subscribe down below, and please keep showing us love into the new year to keep us growing. But let's get right into it. Defenseman Garrett McFadden, who was added by the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, has been loaned to our Reading Royals. And uh, E-Bug Joe Young was released, and then Mike Crocock was suspended by the team to protect his ECHL Right. Now, this past uh, weekend, of course, on Sunday, unfortunately, our Reading Royals did not play as clean as we would have hoped, ag- hoped, not hoped, that's not a word, hoped against the Wooster Railers. But um, it, it is what it is. Uh, it, it's a bad game. Uh, they have to try to respond, obviously, from that bad game. They had a very good game against them on Friday. I thought they played really well to get to that 2 nothing win. Sometimes when you get to 2 nothing win, just more scratch and clawing. Uh, I thought they played a good game and got that 2-zip win. And then, unfortunately, on Sunday, uh, it was just not meant to be, uh, pretty much, for the Reading Royals as they had leads multiple times. Uh, I didn't even think Kote Kazanave... Uh, played too poorly. I think there was definitely goals he might want back at times in this game. But, I mean, he's he's in his second ECHL game, and obviously that's a lot of pressure on a kid to have to get you back-to-backs against a scrappy team like I compared them to uh, before I did the preview on Friday, like a scrappy team like the Seattle Kraken equivalent at the ECHL who's not the best but is going to compete with you uh, night in and night out and usually keep you close for, say, um, 40 minutes of the game, 35 to 40 minutes at least of the game, where in this one, the problem was the Reading Royals just kept them too close. Uh, they went up 2-0 on a nice power play goal by Trevor Gooch, that an equal strength goal then by Patrick McNally that Bykoff was able to get an assist on, and then though they let Bobby Butler score, and then they let at the end, and a killer is always... Um, when you let people score at the end of a period, in the last few minutes of the second, uh, the final four minutes, they let Worcester tie it um, on the power play, or Worcester um, tie it on the power play um, by Ross Olsen, um, who's able to tie it. Finally, though, a good move in this game, a positive, is Patty Bykoff's able to get a goal, but then, unfortunately, Bodoin is able to tie it, and then the game-winning goal comes from Rapassi, Anthony Rapassi, from Bobby Butler. So this was just not a game you want to write home about. This is a game you want to throw into the trash compactor and try to move on from as the Reading Royals because you had leads, you had opportunities to hold leads in this game, and you didn't. So that's what you got to focus on first and foremost, obviously, going into the next tilt. you got to be able to focus on holding leads when you have leads in game. But the Royals have been playing good hockey of late, so I'm not going to get on them for having this one off game against uh, Wooster. It is what it is. Uh, hopefully they can come back. They only had an e-bug goaltender as the backup for this game. It was all on Kote Kazanave in his second ECHL start shoulders. So am I surprised the result really went this way? No, so that's why I'm not going to get and harp on them too much. But this has been a Reading Royals weekend, weekend, excuse me, recap, if I could speak the English language today. We are going to be doing a preview to the week tomorrow uh, for our Reading Royals. Stay safe, everybody, and I hope you're enjoying your new year and having a good holiday season. If you're coming back from vacation, have a safe travels. Peace out, everybody, and please continue to subscribe down below to keep showing the love into the new year. If you enjoy the content, go Royals. Let's get back to the winning ways next game.